Hey fellow YouTubers, Ryan Gronfen here with Pilot Rhino and today I'm going to show you some of the work I had to do on the aileron service bulletin bracket that was done improperly by the previous builder. Okay, so I'm gonna put up some uh, pictures and video here in a second to show you, but basically there's a couple of things going on. It's a little dark, I apologize. Um, well, let me see. Okay, so this has already been fixed, but there should be some video or something rolling in the background now of what it was before. There were two issues. First issue, the previous builder removed this aileron stop for some reason, just went and cut it off. Now. I think for some of the other models, you're supposed to do that, but not for the 10. So we had to do some work here anyways. But when I ordered this new part, I ordered the entire service bulletin, even though it had been done previously. Now, part of the service bulletin is because of some cracking or some stress fractures. So there's a couple of things that happen here. There's this, um, if I can get underneath here and show you, there's this bracket here, this doubler, plus there's another doubler... Uh, here and then this is beefed up this whole thing is beefy so I had to <laughs> well let me start from the beginning uh, we knew that that was an issue but then also he flush riveted the wrong rivets he put the flush rivet on this side instead of this side and so when I test fit my ailerons we were binding up here to the shop head of the rivet. We're also getting a little binding here. So I'm probably going to drill these out and flush rivet them from this side. Now there are, you can put some additional washers here. That's what some people do. And you can bend some stuff and trim the ailerons. But I think I'm just gonna put three flush rivets there. And the only reason you need those three is because ah, when this goes in, you'll see that only those three would ever have a chance of contacting the aileron. So now, let me just explain to you what I had to do here. So I had to, oh man, it was fun. I had to drill out these rivets. I had to drill out all of these rivets. I had to remove this, harvest this bearing, put the new two plates together with the new bearing and the aileron stop, um, rivet that together, and then put this all back together here with a new bracket here and flush rivet that. I'll put some pictures up. It was hard to get these rivets out. It took a while. It took like two hours because I really didn't want to do damage to the trailing spar uh, or any of the doublers. So I was really careful about drilling and then I tried cutting the heads and pounding them through and I finally got it. But it was, it was a little more work than I wanted, but I had to do it right. So really this wasn't a video about how to do the aileron hinge bracket service bulletin. This was a video about how to repair <laughs> the aileron hinge bracket service bulletin that was done improperly. Now it's not a big deal. Uh, the previous builder, name unmentioned of this airplane, did a phenomenal job building up to this point. It was just kind of one little mistake, and I called him. I'm like, hey, was there a reason you did that? And he's like, dude, I have no idea why I would have done that. So whatever, it happens. Um, but that's why if you are buying a plane from a builder that started building, go through every single step like I did. It took me like a month to go through step by step and double check all the work that they've done. And that's when I noticed this, I just didn't get to it until I built the aileron. And I'm glad because had I gone through all the work to just fix this, I wouldn't have discovered that this was done wrong. So um, yeah, that's it. Have a great one, bye-bye.